Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading now. Um, this is for September 10th through the 16th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this reading fits easily, then it's for you. If there's confusion, it's not. So this is the Vice Versa deck. There's stuff on both sides. I sat here, I was sitting down, you know, and I was getting ready to do your reading. And I shuffled. Instead of cutting the deck, I actually shuffled with my eyes closed. Because, you know, if there's stuff on both sides, I'd rather do it with my eyes closed. So that's what I did. I did it with my eyes closed. And um, here, and then I opened it. And this was, this was laying, like, right here. So obviously it fell out. And this um, was on the top, okay? So we have the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant. I'm going to go ahead and zoom it in before I sit down because I really want you to take a look at these cards. You guys are stepping out. You're stepping outside of your ego. Okay? It's like he's looking back at his death. You guys are looking back at what has died within you. You know, the experiences, the turmoil, where you've been. You've come a long way, haven't you? When you can look back and be proud of what you've gone through and realize that those experiences have only made you stronger. You don't need that armor anymore. That was armor. That was protection. You guys may have been trying to escape something with that armor. But now you don't need it anymore. So I feel as though this eclipse season that we just had has served you very well. It has. It's really reawakened you to who you really are. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom this back out. And we're going to we're going to jump right back into this. So you guys are going through a rebirth. You are going through a rebirth. You see the you see the baby here? He's got the key. You you know, you have the key. You have the key within you to your future. And I think that you guys are believing in yourself more than ever. Maybe you have been seeking spiritual guidance or you've been grow growing spiritually, okay? Um, it feels as though you've gained a lot of spiritual wisdom through some sort of suffering, okay? Um, you've been shaken right to the core. You have. But it feels as though you have, you've gained a lot, a lot of spiritual wisdom through something. And I think that you've really come to the point of, of shedding, you know, shedding something that, shedding your armor, shedding your, your grief of some sort, you know, the grief that you've been through. So we're going to keep this one and we're going to keep shuffling. But this is a, this is a completion, okay? It's the death of ego. Or the essence of ego. I'm whole. Without the armor. It feels as though you're... Your path, your, your, the path, the journey in front of you, the, you've delayed it. You know, you delayed the journey. And you stayed in a situation hoping that it would just get better, you know. But I think you've come to the point of you know, knowing that you have to take action. You know, you have to take action for things to get better. You have to face the, the rocky road. And I think that you guys have faced a rocky road. But the the light is right around the corner. Okay? So I think that you are starting to see the light more than you have in the past. I feel as though the sky is starting to clear for you. Okay? You're starting to... Um, 
Head in a new direction, Sagittarius. You've been enlightened after staying in something that had no growth for quite some time. Now you have a golden opportunity. Now this is the vice versa deck. There's stuff on both sides. One is virtually reversed or a little bit different and the other is upright. So they all look upright, but some of them are reversed. I think you guys are digging yourself out. You're digging yourself out of a situation that was a dead end. That's what's happening. You are. And now because you have decided, you know, to take action in in regards to I'm just looking at all these real quick. Because you're taking action. You're moving forward on your new journey. Letting the light guide your way. Digging yourself out of the... Or, or you're, you're walking through the... You're, you're, you're cutting through the uh, brambles, per se. You know what I mean? It's like you're ready to, you're headed towards the light. You're, you're headed towards a much more bright time in your life. Trust me, you are. And it's because you're taking action. You're taking action to bring success to your life. That's what this is. I feel as though you could be receiving help from another person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um... It could be another fire sign, but I think, it, you know, you have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn down here that is very prominent in your life. I feel, let me get this zoomed in. You're restoring control. You're taking back control. You could be, um, you know, this, that's, that's the devil reversed. So this is dropping addictions, dropping obsessions. Um, this is about personal freedom. It's facing your demons. You are facing your demons. Rising again. You're rising. The fire is being relit within you, Sagittarius. It's like you, you've you got the fire. You've got the fire back. You've taken your fire back. And because you are believing in yourself again and you're ready to follow your own path, I think you're turning your back on on some sort of manipulative, deceptive situation, some sort of sabotage. Perhaps you were dealing with a situation in which there was some sabotage and you are, you're just turning your back on it completely and you're headed towards the light. You're headed towards happiness. You really are. And security. So you have manifested a new beginning. Something solid, something stable. And it's because you're facing your fears. You are. It's like you're taking this blindfold off. That's what I see. You're removing obstacles from your life. And these obstacles, I think these obstacles, they could have been fears, but they also could have been addictions or obsessions or even people that were, man were manipulating you and were not in your life for your highest good. It feels as though you guys are digging yourself out you're digging yourself out of a period of a sullenness you know what i mean it's like you may have been hanging on to something was that was dead for quite some time and hoping for some sort of growth but it feels like you're going to take that shovel and you're going to dig that up and go get out of here you're not going to wait forever you're not going to let yourself die in this situation and I feel like you guys are, are had been flirting with a situation that was, you know, a dead end for quite some time. But you've come to the point where you're you're about ready to dig that up because you know it's dead. It's like it's dead. I know it's dead. There's no reason for me to to stay here anymore. I might as well just finish it off. So I feel like you guys are.
ready to go grab your seeds. I would call these seeds and go plant them elsewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna take my seeds and go plant them elsewhere. You may be contemplating a move, you know, a physical move. Um, this is this seven of cups is decisions. It's consequences for the decisions that you make. Perhaps you're in the process of making a complex decision at this time, and you are being divinely guided with the answers. So trust the divine at this time because you are being enlightened. Um, you may be trying. You may be. Um, You may have some regrets. You may have some regrets over, over what has happened in the past. Over, over, you know, the losses that have been caused by your mental turmoil. You know, by your inability to accept the truth or see the truth that you needed to take action to change your life. You may have some regrets that, you know, you've come to this point where you know that you are the one that, that has to make this change. You know, you may feel a little uncomfortable with, with um, the choice that you have to make because, you know, there's a feeling of, I don't know, I don't know what the, what the future holds, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. You know, I don't know what the future holds, but I'm going to, I'm going to trust that I, the, 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 uh, the path will, will unfold. You know, you ask and you receive. So continue to ask for that path to be enlightened and you will receive the the support from above that you need. Okay, so continue to ask. I feel as though you guys have been trapped in a situation for quite some time that was barren. You know, there was no growth there. But I feel like there's there was you know, an opportunity for growth if you just would have looked in a different direction. And I feel as though perhaps somebody has come into the picture to to offer you support, okay? To offer you the, the stability and the security and the generosity that they can to help you along the way. So I feel like you do have somebody around that is generously helping you to free yourself from the from the demons or the mental conflicts that have held you back um you are receiving a new opportunity this week something it could be a new home okay it could be whatever it is you're receiving a gift you are receiving a gift now this could this is something you can touch okay so i feel like you are are uh moving to a much better place. You really, really are, whatever this is. If you have been going through a serious struggle and staying in a situation and been indecisive, I feel like this is a week where perhaps somebody comes in and and helps you to make that solid decision. So just, you know, be open for that. Um, you are definitely, oh, look what just came off the bottom. I'm sorry, I went to pick up the deck and this one stayed. So it, obviously it wants to come here. Obviously, it wants to. It's very prominent. Okay, this was on the bottom. Okay, it was on the bottom of this deck. I picked up the deck, and that card stayed. So it's it's clear that that wants to be there. Um, it's the death of the old you. The old you is no more. Okay, your soul is being reborn again, and I know that's what this is. You're you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. You're stepping outside of your shell. You're being open to more possibilities. You're, you're realizing that your past experiences have brought you to the place that you are today. Yeah, you were, you were involved in a situation that was totally ego-based. Okay? There was a lot of power struggles going back and forth. And you may have felt like you were brought to your knees. And maybe you were brought to your knees by another person that belittled you and... Um, brought conflict into your life. You 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 hit this point of rock bottom, and then you come out of it on top. You come out of it a better person, wiser. So I feel as though you ha may have been defeated, but this feeling of defeat has given you more strength to
celebrate your, your own being. You know what I mean? This has brought you more self-worth and self-respect. I think that you have, you, you've hit rock bottom. You went through a period of, of complete collapse. You know, where you got to a point where you, you felt like you, you couldn't go on another moment. You, you hit rock bottom. You ask for help. You seek guidance. Whether it's from above or from another person, you seek the help. You seek the guidance. You, 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 it's like you, you hit your knees and you start begging for help. Help arrives. Your prayer gets answered. Help arrives and, and you, this storm that you have been through starts to dissipate and the light, the sun comes back out. I think that you guys are releasing either an addiction or an obsession. You're releasing something that no longer serves you. That was an illusion of some sort. You're releasing it. A thought. A mentality. I do. I see a new opportunity that is going to be a lot more fulfilling. Okay, and stable and secure. You guys are receiving something for the hard work, for not giving up on yourselves. Because you guys didn't give up on yourself, you are receiving a reward because you sought some kind of guidance, because you're keeping the faith, you believe in yourself. Oh, look at that. Seeing things from a new perspective. Finding your power again. You're, you're realizing that the experiences that you have been through have enlightened you. I think you're changing your thoughts. You're, I do. I think that you're changing your ways. And because you're doing that, it's like God is giving you a new opportunity that it's not what you expect for one thing. They're giving you an opportunity that something that you have manifested it's something that you deserve because you guys are walking away from something that was emotionally unfulfilling You're leaving the emptiness behind. And you're headed towards wish fulfillment. The next card is the Nine of Cups. And abundance. You're being given a new opportunity here. You are a Sagittarius. After you have hit rock bottom. But it's because you change your thoughts. It's because you assert yourself and you stand up for yourself and you decide to put yourself first. You know what? I matter. And I'm going to stand up and fight this battle instead of sit back and let this hurt me. I'm no longer going to fight. I'm taking this armor off and I'm going to face it. I'm not going to try to escape and protect myself. I'm going to face these demons. And because you guys take action, somebody is, is, whether it's from above or another person, is giving you a golden opportunity for success. Because you assert yourself in a new way. That's what's happening here. 
It's like you guys are breaking down old foundations. You are. The old you is breaking apart. Of course. You may feel like this is an information overload. <laughs> this is too much. You may feel a little overwhelmed with these thoughts that are all being released at this time. It may feel like things are a little fluid. Things are a little wishy-washy. You may feel a little uncomfortable. You're surrounded by water. You have to sink or swim. Sink or swim. And even though you have some fear, I think you're ready to swim. You're ready to step on the glass. He's barefoot. You're ready to step on anything that hurts to get to where you need to be. So I feel like you guys have found the power to prevail. And because you do that, you know, this is a gift as well. The Three of Cups. You are receiving a gift. I think that you are receiving something for the hard work, for, for stepping outside of the ego, for going through that storm. You're receiving something. Oh my goodness, the Ace of Swords. Yeah. The power, the truth, the clarity. It's like you guys are waking up a new person. You have taken back your power, Sagittarius. <laughs> you have. And I feel, I feel the mentality is, if you get in my way, you will get hurt. Because I have a goal in mind, and I'm going for it. This is great. It really is. This is the sword of power. It goes from blocking to accepting. I have the power to succeed. Oh, here we go. We had three. There you are, turning your back. You guys are working really, really, really hard to succeed. Putting in a lot of effort. Concentrating really, really hard on loving yourselves. Putting yourself first. Turning your back on the past, turning your back on the naysayers. Manifesting a new path right in front of you. And the new path is unfolding right in front of you. The path to success and abundance and security and stability and everything you ever wanted is opening up right in front of you. You are manifesting it. One, one, one. Your thoughts have changed from negative to positive. Just like that. That's what I see. And all of these positive changes that you are making are bringing you something very, very, very abundant. Because you're regaining your concentration and your focus. And you're no let it, longer letting your ego drive. You, this, this, is, this is the absence of ego. Okay? It's not about you. I'm talking to the other people. It's not about you. It's about me. Okay? 
I'm going to do what's best for me. And I'm comfortable with that. I think that you guys are restoring control. You're taking back your life. And you are going down a brand new road towards success. I see that you guys are working really, really, really hard. And abundance, if you don't have it yet, is right around the corner. You know, you could be receiving some money from somebody. I don't know. You could be even receiving, you know, somebody's giving you something. You deserve it. After you've waited so, so, so long because you decide to take action, it's here. You decide. You decide to put in more effort. You decide to step it up a notch. Take back control of your life. Take back your power. And boom. Success is yours. This is a very successful week. You are going to be receiving something that you can take to the bank. Whether it is a new partner or money or a new home or a new job or a new contract. It's something new that is going to pay off. Do I see love in these cards? I do not. Not saying that you're not loved, but I feel like this is a reading about success. If you've been struggling at home, or struggling financially, or struggling in your job, or struggling in life, I see that a new path is, is being... opened up in front of you and it's because of you it's because of the power that you're using within it's because you found your power the sun is coming out in your life where you've been living in a period of darkness the sun is coming back out And love is on the horizon. If you are single, love is on the horizon. But perhaps you need to work a little harder and continue to manifest it. You have to open your heart fully for it to come in. So if your heart is a little closed, open it up. On the other side is love. But you got to keep walking. You need to keep taking action. You need to keep that power in your hands. Don't give up the power. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough. Don't let anybody bring you down. You have to continue to believe in yourself because there will be naysayers at every corner. It is up to you to bring success to your life and not let anybody bring you down. Keep going. Keep working. Put in all the effort that you can. And you will be given a gift for your hard work. There will be a payoff at the end. So I, it looks to me like you guys are, are taking back. You're leaving something that was toxic behind with the devil reversed. Whether it's addiction, whether it's a partner, whether it's a job, whatever was toxic is being left behind. And because you take the action to do so, you're receiving something better. Be prepared. This is something you can touch. Like I said, this, is, this could be a home, money, a job, a car. This could be a new partner. It could be. But typically it's something tangible. 
that is going to make you feel very abundant, okay? And it's because you guys are willing to shed your old ways. Okay? That's what it is. Because you're willing to shed the old and become the new. I mean, here we have a snake. Snake shed skin. And this is shedding as well. When you shed the old and you let the new come in, it's a rebirth. And that's what this is. You guys are going through a rebirth. So, as far as there being a new love here, I don't see that. I feel like this is a week of working on your own internal, external success. Taking back the lead. Taking back the power that's been stripped. Yeah. Okay. Addictions are affecting romantic life. And maybe that's why I don't see love at this point. Maybe that's what you're doing. You're getting wet, rid of something. And I saw it, said it earlier, I believe. Addictions or obsessions. Codependency. And there'll be somebody that says, I don't have any addictions. <laughs> really? You don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't overeat, you don't spend too much money. There are so many addictions that impact your romantic life. Negativity. Addicted to negative thinking. Gaming. I mean, there's so many different addictions. Maybe now's not the time for romance. Maybe you need to fix you. Before romance can come in. Let's all be real here. I mean, that's a real situation. If you have addictions, they will affect your romantic life. Period. Acceptance. And release. So I feel like this is a week of taking back your power and receiving a gift in return. That's what I have, Sagittarius. It looks as though your golden opportunity is arriving. The opportunity that you've been waiting for, for success. And it's all because you shed and you take action. That's what I have. Talk to you later.